Okay, pretty simple question here I got uh, from Callum saying, Hi Dom, I'm wondering how you go about getting more photographic experience. And I'm guessing what you're talking about is more the business side rather than the just going out and taking more photos. Um, I've, e I've emailed and sent letters to local newspapers and studios uh, and have only had two replies after sending out about 25 letters. Um, if possible, could you do a quick video to try to explain where I'm going wrong? First of all, you're not going wrong. You're doing the right thing. Actually, I would say get it, getting two replies back from 25 letters, that's a 10% uh, return rate, which is, well, okay, it's not 10, it's a little bit less than that. But that's actually, uh, in, in, uh, in business terms, that's pretty good. Um, so don't think that, oh, I've sent out 25, especially in today's, uh, economy and like uh, the the marketplace which you're in nowadays, um, getting a ten percent return on your effort is is actually considered pretty good. If it gets down to the one percent, then you're probably doing something wrong, or you're sending it to the wrong people, or is not, or the, the, <laughs> the mailman is stealing your stuff. Um, however, I would say uh, if if you send out a hundred letters and you get ten replies back you're doing good. That, that, that's pretty much, I would say, the standard there. Uh, the reason, but you've got to figure out the reason is, um, it's not that the people aren't interested or they're, they don't go, yeah, we want to give people opportunities. It's just that some, the people who do have jobs are just so bloody busy doing their job that they don't have time to take on um, somebody for it. And even though it's just experience, there's so much red tape and so much crap that goes along with, uh, okay, are we employing you for the day? Are you volunteering for the day? Do we need to go through health and safety risks? Do I need to have you on insurance? Do I introduce you to the clients which I'm dealing with? And, and what about if you do deal with the clients that I'm dealing with and you offend them in some way? How do I deal with that? Saying that you're not actually a full-time employee and I'm training you. Then it's the whole point of like, oh, right, okay, there's somebody coming along. I'm going to have to spend time training this person and get them to know uh, the way that I work or how I work or the, the tools that I use. So taking somebody on it for experience isn't just, hey, come along and follow me. It's usually like, come along and follow me. Oh, wait, don't do that. Oh, don't go there. Oh, and then they have to do a whole pile of stuff to kind of train you and make sure that you're not screwing up in some way. And not that I'm saying that you would, but that, that's just how everyone would think about it. Um, it. To the point of myself, the amount of work which I'm doing uh, in terms of uh, videos and houses and all that stuff, which you'll see in a video coming up soon, uh, I'm very close to the point of going, I, if I get more work, I'm going to need somebody helping out in some way. It may be a person who is uh, in the office for half a day, a couple of days at the week, just to get through all the editing or the, the floor plans or something. But then it's the whole thought of, oh, the amount of extra, isn't, it's so not the case of, hey, mate, could you help me out for a while? It's, right, okay, we need to have you employed, we need to register this, we need to say, oh, there's so many things that need to be organised just to have even a part-time staff member uh, uh, join your company. It's such a massive effort. So um, I would say there's a video I did in the past which says 82% uh, of successful photographers have this. And then it went on in that video and pretty much that is the, the standard. Unless you've got contacts, unless you've got a rich uncle that uh, knows lots of designers and contacts in the fashion industry or the newspaper industry or this, that, another industry or the media industry or something like that, you're going to really struggle to get anywhere other than busting your ass all the time and doing like your, your 25 letters, 100 letters kind of thing all the time. Um, so either use the contacts that you've got more aggressively. So if you think you've got a friend on Facebook who does work for an agency somewhere, chummy them a bit more just go, so that they know who you are. Because it is, it is a, a lot of this time you will be sending out letters to people who have no idea who you are. They've never seen you, never spoken to you, never seen your work. And even if you put it all into like an email, you are still a total unknown entity. So a lot of companies will go, don't know this person, who is it? What they will go is, do we have a recommendation from anybody in this office or somebody that they know is a good guy? Yes, and they'll go for that. So recommendations far outweigh even qualifications. So I would, that this is where I would say networking, being out there, doing stuff, 
will potentially be more beneficial than uh, solely writing out letters. Or for, for another, another way to say it, let's say you want to work for a newspaper, go along to a local sports thing where there might be a newspaper guy going along and chat to the newspaper guy. That, that that's what what to do. Like if if uh, I I did that myself actually. I was at a, a local uh, hockey tournament and I was taking photos for uh, hockey Scotland. Can't, can't remember the the name, uh, but it's Scotland's hockey company. Um, and I was taking photos of them. And there's a guy beside me taking photos. I'm like, hey, how's it going? Nice to meet you. And he's like, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, oh, that's a nice lens. Uh, so you shoot many hockey stuff. And he's like, I'm just shooting for the Scotsman. I'm like, all right, cool. What's your name? And he's like, I'm. Greg, and I'm like, ah, nice to meet you, Greg. Three weeks later, I'm uh, in the Scotsman doing a, a, a day job kind of thing. And when I was there, the amount of health and safety crap that I had to go through beforehand before I even got to sit at the office inside the place. So that's what I say is get out there where the other photographers are so they know who you are rather than a letter from somebody which they've never, never seen or heard of before. That'd be my only tips. Hope that helps you and everyone else. Cheers. Bye-bye.